We're gonna do a little brake adjustment here on this trailer. It's a Kaufman tandem axle trailer with electric brakes. I've been cranking the dial up in the truck recently higher and higher the gain on it. And I'm basically at 10 anymore and the trailer's not really holding me back. So I'm definitely out of adjustment. I'm just gonna jack it up here and walk you through the process of how to adjust them. It's pretty simple, shouldn't take too long. The only two tools you really need are a jack, a flathead screwdriver, or if you actually have a shoe tool, brake shoe tool, and a couple jacks. Now this trailer is hooked up to the truck, but otherwise you want to make sure you chalk your wheels, you can do one side at a time. I want to jack up from the back so I can get everything up at one time to hopefully speed up the process. You just need to jack it up enough that the wheels are off the ground and you can spin them freely. Now I'm not going to be under the tires, but I put a couple jack stands under the back just as a precaution. A creeper does make things a little bit easier if you're on pavement or concrete and a light as well. But they're not necessary. So you want to crawl under and come over and there should be a little rubber seal. Sometimes they're missing, but if there's a seal, just take your screwdriver or your tool and pry it out. That's all it is. If you can see up in there, there are some threads. So you get your screwdriver up in there and you get on, it's like a little star grip. You pry it up to tighten it, basically one click at a time. Depending how far out of adjustment your brakes are is how many clicks you need to make. Now it's going to sound a little weird like you're damaging something, but it's not. That's not the case. So you then want to spin your wheel until you get some drag. This does not have enough, so I'm going to keep going. So here I have it where it's pretty hard to spin. Like as soon as I let go, it stops. So I'm gonna stop right there for now. I'm just gonna leave my plug here, move on to the next one. Because once I'm all done, I'm gonna take all four of these, I'm gonna leave them off, I'm just gonna pull forward a little bit and back and just see how it feels in the truck. I might have to do some fine tuning, but it might be okay. So if you can see right in here, right there you can see there's little splines right above that green dot. And that is what I'm turning. I'm lifting up, I'm making them spin up and I'm pulling my screwdriver down to tighten the brakes. Just because I'm a nice guy and let you watch me struggle with these other ones, I'm gonna 
let you watch a fourth time getting these plugs out. Huh. We're getting better. Crawl out here and see how it feels. Take jack stands out. Like I said, they were just a precaution. We'll fire up the truck, drive back and forth. Internal gains down here on this one. Yeah, I had it cranked up to 10 before. I'm just going back and forth here, nice and gently, basically letting the truck idle its way forward or back. So I apply gentle brake pressure. Occasionally I'm bumping the dial up just to see what it does, make sure the wheels aren't locking up or dragging at all, and that they're moving freely forward and backwards. As I'm doing this though, I can kind of tell that it's just still not quite enough. I've got the gain up pretty high and it's really not stopping all that great. So I took it down the road and I could definitely feel a difference, but really if you have it cranked up to 10 like the max, it should really jar the truck to a stop almost or you should really feel it and that's not quite happening with this so I always see if I can just get it one or two more clicks and I think I'll feel better about it. You want to try your best to get them to be just about the same, same drag. So this one I feel good about. This one This isn't like this one, it almost comes to a stop. But now. Yeah, I just need to slug up a pinch. If you do happen to get it too tight, like I just did on this one, you just spin it down and it'll free it up. Hopefully, you can see that. And when you're underneath, it's also a good time to check things out. This, I've got some net wrapped from a round bale wrapped around. Just want to make sure our bolts are snug and leaf springs are okay. Yeah, I'll have to cut that out. Got my twine out. Now it's time for the finishing touch, putting the caps back on. They just push in. Snap. Couldn't see it. Three. Four. Well, hopefully that helps. 
and uh, make sure you always check out your brakes, make sure that they're properly adjusted to save wear and tear also to be more safe. But feel free to leave any comments about any questions or anything. And I hope that helps.